Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna do a haul and I didn't necessarily imagine that I would ever do a haul video mainly because I just literally never buy anything for myself like truly I don't but I just happen to be out of several things at the same time. I had some purchases that I needed to make and to be quite honest with you guys it has been a really tough week and month, a um, little over a month now, so I felt like I should treat myself a little bit. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I got. We have a lot of like wellness and fitness kind of items, a couple grocery items. Yeah, I'm just going to walk you through what I have purchased recently. Um, a lot of the items I literally just got, um, but there are a couple that were earlier this week. So here we go. So the first thing I want to show you guys are these rice cakes. Um, they've already been open, so I've been enjoying them, but I have seen so many people post about rice cakes. Like I see them in what I eat in a day videos all the time or like in vlogs all the time when people are showing what they're eating. I've been dieting pretty um, strictly and working out a ton of late and I'll do a separate video on that. I filmed a what I eat in a day video so I'm not sure if this is going to go up first or if that's going to go up first. I guess we'll see but if that's not already posted it's coming soon and that was just a really really quick kind of look at what I eat in a day but I want to do a separate video that's talking about why I'm making these fitness and diet changes and sort of my long-term plan and a little bit more in-depth look at what that looks like day to day. But I got these rice cakes and I love them. They're really, really good. So I got the tamari with seaweed flavor um, and I love that like seaweed flavor um, a lot. So these are super, super tasty to me. Honestly, the day that I got them, I opened them up and I just ate two like plain with nothing on them. And I thought they tasted really good, but also that's the beauty of dieting. Like everything you eat just tastes so good because you're so like just ready to eat. But yeah, I really, really like these. I'm probably actually gonna have some with my lunch today. I feel like if you put like some hummus and some cucumber slices on these, they would be absolutely delicious. Big thumbs up here. They are only 60 calories per cake, only one gram of fiber and one gram of protein, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. Really good, like these a lot. And then I also just got the plain brown rice flavor. I don't know why that was hard to say, brown rice flavor. And the nutrition info is almost the same, except these have 14 grams of carbs. So like yesterday, as a part of my lunch, I had one of these with a tablespoon of peanut butter and it was so good. But I love peanut butter almost more than life itself. Anything that involves peanut butter in any capacity is okay by me. These obviously are less flavorful and I would not eat one of these plain, but with a delicious topping, I could definitely do that. And I see these more um, being used for like sweet than savory. So the other grocery item that I got, I also got like a four pack of juices and stuff is from Whole Foods, but most of those juices are gone. There's one left and I might have it today, I might not. But I got this organic grass and shrooms powder. I don't really know why I picked it to be honest. I mean, obviously there's like some nutritional value. I don't really know exactly what it is supposed to do, but I always hear good things about mushrooms. It's actually funny, a while ago, um, when I was in LA, my mom and I were on Abikini and we found this place called the Shroom Room. And so of course we were intrigued. So we went in and they had all these like mushroom 
powders and drinks and they had all these really personable people working there and we were chatting them up and we ordered these like mushroom coffees. It wasn't coffee because it was mushrooms, but like kind of like a coffee drink. And the guy was so funny. He's like, I'm gonna warn you, you're, you're gonna be feeling this. You're gonna have so much energy, really, really playing up the effects of this mushroom drink to the point where something that I totally would not have thought was gonna have an effect on me. I was kind of like, oh, shit, okay. Like preparing myself to feel something some kind of like burst of energy and literally nothing. Did not feel a single thing. But regardless, I hear lots of good things about mushrooms. You can always get some more greens. So this has wheatgrass, reishi, reishi mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, all kinds of good stuff. You are supposed to add a teaspoon to a drink, a smoothie, whatever. So far, I have added a teaspoon to some green juice, and that was fine. The green juice didn't taste good anyway, so I wasn't like, contaminating anything. And then I've also added it to my coffee the last two mornings, which, whatever. I don't know if it's doing anything for me. I mean, I have honestly felt pretty good the last few days that I've been using this in spite of a bunch of shit happening to me, honestly. So I guess that's good. Having it in the mornings and I've been working out in the morning, so perhaps it's helping me power through the workout. It's so hard to tell what you're feeling and why and am I just like motivated and like kicking ass now and getting in shape or is it the mushrooms? But I guess, I guess we'll never know. Yeah, I'm into this. I'm gonna keep taking it and see if anything comes of it. Let's get into some supplements. The other day I went to Sephora and I got a couple of supplements. So I've used Hum products before. I tried their, one of their like powders. It was a green powder and I think it was like mint chocolate chip flavored and it was pretty good. I liked to put it, just mix it with almond milk and it was, it was pretty tasty. It was something that like I looked forward to having. And then I tried a couple of their like supplements. I think I might have had this before, the skinny bird, but I can't really remember. And then I also had the ripped rooster. I don't really know. I don't remember if they had much of an effect. I think I was taking them, but I wasn't really like actively dieting or working out or anything. So I, it was hard to know if it was doing anything for me, but I've been wanting to try these again. So the Skinny Bird is their weight loss program. It says, pounds come and go like lovers. Skinny Bird has a unique SMAC formula that helps keep unwanted pounds in check. SMAC equals for stress eating, to help boost metabolism, to help curb appetite, and chromium to help support healthy blood sugar levels already within normal ranges. This is a 90 capsule bottle and that's supposed to be a 30 day supply. So you're supposed to take up to three of these per day. And I think that's probably excessive. I would at most a day, but probably most days I'll just take one. I started taking these a few days ago. I haven't had one yet today. They say you're supposed to take it like 30 minutes before you eat. Again, up to three times per day. What I'm trying to do is have breakfast, which I don't always have breakfast. And if I do have breakfast, I'm usually trying to make it something fairly light, like a smoothie. Today though, I had, I mean, it was still really light, but I had a homemade granola that I made. It's so freaking good. Peanut butter, chocolate, granola, very, very tasty, but lots of calories and lots of carbs in like a serving. The serving is just a third of a cup. But I was super satisfied after I had it this morning with a little bit of milk. Um, I'll try to keep you guys posted. I do feel like it has helped my appetite a bit. I got to a certain point in my dieting where like I wasn't hungry, but like, I was just thinking about food like all the time. 
which is not necessarily atypical for me because I love food and your girl's always thinking about food. I'm always thinking about what I'm going to eat next. So I do feel like this has helped and I will keep you guys posted on updates and progress and all of that. I also picked up the Flatter Me, which was kind of an impulse buy, but I figured I'd go ahead and try it. It supports a flatter stomach and healthy digestion. Your secret to a flatter stomach. Designed around your diet, we developed a comprehensive proprietary enzyme blend that supports all major phases of nutrient digestion. Flatter Me is formulated to optimize protein, carb, fiber, and fat breakdown, and to help with nutrient absorption, relief from indigestion, and bloating. My like primary area of focus when I'm dieting and working out is my stomach. I think I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll get into this more in the what I eat in a day, or I'm sorry, in the fitness and whatever. In the video I'm gonna do where I talk about what I eat and why and why I'm exercising and kind of what I'm going for. Jury's still out on this. I've only taken it twice now and I can't really gauge anything at this point in time. I mean, who would be able to gauge something after only taking it twice? And that was not even consecutively. I took one one day and I didn't take one another day. And then I took it another day. You're supposed to take this twice a day before your two biggest meals of the day. I'm kind of scared to do that. I'm scared about what this is going to do to my digestion. I have digestive issues and I will leave it at that. So I'm afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid. I don't know what this is going to do to me. I guess I'll keep trying it unless I can find some sort of correlation, negative correlation. I don't think that's what negative correlation means. There's negative correlation and positive correlation. So positive correlation means if one goes up, the other goes up, right? And negative correlation means if one goes up, the other goes down. Is that what that means? Nah, science, whatever that is. But if taking these has any sort of side effect that I'm not loving, I will definitely stop taking them since my abs are what I'm really focusing on right now. I figured I would give them a try. Next, in the supplement world, kind of, not a supplement necessarily, I don't really know what this is. I literally just bought this, so I have no idea about it at all. This is another brand that I've kind of been interested in, Love Wellness, and this is the Good To Glows. Oh, nothing. It is a supplement. Dietary supplement. Proven ingredients for gorgeous skin. We fit all the stuff your skin loves and craves into one perfect little pill. From vitamins C and E to collagen and organic ashwagandha, this Get Glowing Miracle is the last one your skin will ever need. So directions, take two capsules daily. It's got a lot of biotin, a bunch of herbs, <laughs> collagen, which is one of the reasons I picked this up. I've seen collagen in freaking everything. Collagen supplements, collagen powders to drink, collagen skincare products, whatever. So I figured I'll jump on the collagen bandwagon and see what I see. So take two daily. I wonder if you're supposed to take them at the same time or at different times. How do I even open this? I was thinking I would take them before bed so that way I can wake up beautiful. We'll see. Maybe I'll take one before bed and one in the morning. It's very thorough. I do not want anyone to, oh my gosh. So there's plastic on the outside, foil on the top, the cotton. Oh my God, more cotton. Jeez. All right, these don't really have a smell. They look pretty much exactly like the hum capsules. My nails are messed, so please don't look a little clear capsule filled with what looks like very fine sawdust. Yum. I'll let you know if I see any difference whatsoever in the way my skin looks. So, ankle weights. These are something that I have been seeing. There's a certain brand right now that's getting really popular. I forget what it's called, but I saw them on Carbon 38. And I think they carry them at one of the gyms that I go to and they're kind of just like chic and whatever. But I mean, they're fucking ankle weights. So how chic do they need to be? So those, I, I truly don't remember the price. I want to say they're like at least $40, but probably more for a pair of two pound ankle and wrist weights. But I found these at TJ Maxx for $4. <laughs> so 
I'm gonna go with these bad boys because they're exactly the same and I probably would not have chosen blue if I was, how do I, I think was presented with some other color choices, but whatever, blue is what they had. This is Lexington, so Wildcats, baby. I mean, pretty straightforward, right? I will probably put these on if I'm doing a workout at home or going to the treadmill at the gym that we have here. And I got two boxes because I want to have the option to wear them on my wrists and ankles at the same time because that's just the kind of overachiever that I am. Next, I got a new, and all most of the stuff that I'm about to show you, I think everything, no, almost everything that's left is from TJ Maxx. Again, I never purchase anything for myself and I have been going to workout classes now for about eight weeks and I'm just like in desperate need of new workout clothes. I have like one cute set from Marine Lair and then the rest are just like so ratty and terrible. I have these what I call workout onesies that I got from Namastetics like probably at least three years ago and I've pretty much exclusively worn those even though one of them is missing but they are quite literally falling apart they're like all these like strappy bands and everything and just with the frequency that I am wearing and then washing them because I have to because I don't have any other workout clothes for these glasses they're just falling apart. So I can probably fix some of them. I can sew the straps back because they're not like completely destroyed or anything, but like the the straps are wearing. But I still think they're really cute. So I'm gonna try to salvage those. In the meantime, I definitely needed a couple of things. I've been really, really like crushing on some stuff on Carbon 38. Like I want those Takara leggings really bad. I just don't drop money on myself. Like ever and so those are I mean, they're not like crazy expensive but they're just i don't know i just don't buy expensive stuff for myself so i figured i would check out tj maxx and see what they have so that's what i have done i picked up a new pair of tennis shoes these look giant they're only size seven and i can do like six and a half or seven anyway whatever so i have a pair of tennis shoes that i'm wearing now they're perfectly fine but they're not I, I just, I like black tennis shoes. I actually got the ones that I'm wearing right now for free because my fiance's sister used to work at Under Armour and she would just give me stuff sometimes. So that was awesome and so sweet of her and she's amazing. Hi Danielle, if you're watching. I, I like the all black look. So I want to add these into my rotation. Plus I've had those for, again, like several years now. I really like these and I'm excited to wear them and I tried them on and they felt comfy and... Next, I got a couple pairs of leggings. These are some maroon leggings from the brand Beautiful. Maybe someday. I don't really know what to say about these. I kind of like the little detail. I liked the color. It was not black, but it was like darker, not crazy. I like full length leggings because I don't want to have to shave my legs before every class that I take. So that's nice to have that option to be au natural, natural, whatever. I like those. I haven't tried any of this on. I feel like it's hard to go wrong with leggings, right? If you get a small, they're gonna be tight, right? So I should be good. And then I also got these, which I actually think are pretty Cute. I like the little sheen they've got going on. I feel like there's like a pair of Spanx leggings that are kind of like this that are really popular that when people have worn them, I like them. So here are these. And then I also got just a couple little workout tops. So just a gray t-shirt with a little bit of like ruching detail on the sides, a plain black tank, and then two sports bras. Oh, and then I also got this 
First of all, it's just so soft and I love it. But I wanted something that I can throw on before and after a workout class that isn't gonna get like one of the coats that I wear sweaty and gross. And it's just like soft and cozy and comfy. So this seemed pretty perfect. I'm excited about this guy. And now we can move into some beauty products that I got. So start with this. I have never heard of this brand, the Botanical Polish but I have to scrub myself. My skin gets really, really dry, especially in the winter, but just all the time, I'm a dry girl. I, I gotta slough that shit off, you know what I'm saying? And I have a scrub that I'm almost out of, and coconut is like my favorite thing ever, and the combination of coffee and coconut scent is just, Oh my god, yeah, that smells amazing. I bought this because of the smell. And also, I like coffee as an exfoliator. This is not, I don't really have like any, it says it has coconut oil, but you know how some scrubs are like fully like immersed in oil. This looks pretty dry, so I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not. I kind of like the oil. It holds everything together so I can get a big glob and you know, work it into the skin. Yeah, already, this is the second time I've spilled this. The first one was much worse because I saw a little, okay, yeah, this is getting all over the place. I can't wait for Vince to find this later and be like, what is this on the couch? I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah, this smells great and I'm excited to try it. I also picked up this Living Proof Texture Mist for Beachy Styles. I don't know if I've used this exact product from Living Proof before, but I've definitely used some of their hair products and I remember liking them. It says, effortlessly creates long lasting textured styles. Shake well, spray on damp or dry hair, scrunch and tassel, blow out if desired for added volume. So I probably won't be doing that exactly. Um, I'm not gonna like scrunch my hair, but my hair is finally getting longer. Uh, historically, I've always had very, very long hair until about three years ago or something. I chopped it off and I really, really liked that. And I think other people liked it. I'm ready to grow my hair back out. And I've tried kind of half-heartedly to grow it back out a couple of different times. And then I got impatient with the mid length and I chopped it off again, but it's been quite a while since I've cut it. I think it was last March and it is now almost February. So about a year. So it's starting to get some length. So I feel like I can do more of that kind of like beachy look again, which I feel like I could when my hair was short too. There's something about that like mid length that like that just kind of doesn't really work. But now that I'm getting slightly back to the longer side, I'm gonna try this out again. I also am just out of shampoo right now. So I grabbed this essential shea. Is it the Kai? Is that is it? Frederick Fakai. Mm, yeah, I've never used this before, but I feel like I've always liked the Fakai, if I'm saying that right, products. And this also smelled really, really good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that smells great. I also use a purple shampoo, but I'm out of another shampoo and I only have the purple shampoo. So you gotta have something else in the rotation. If I like leave that on my hair too long, it literally does turn like the brighter blonde parts of my hair purple. And I'm not going for that. I also grabbed this Clinique foundation and concealer. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Foundation and concealer. How, how is this possible? A foundation and concealer in one for a natural, beyond perfected look that lasts all day. Lightweight, moisturizing, makeup covers thoroughly without clogging pores, color stays true even through sweat and humidity. For complete coverage, dot on all over face and blend. Use the unique applicator to spot conceal oil free. I haven't like ever really had a go-to foundation that I use um, and lately I've been not wearing very much makeup at all. Certainly not a lot of foundation. A lot of days I don't wear any foundation at all. Today being one of those days, but also I just have on like literally hardly any makeup. And apparently I can't film a video without this 
mess on top of my head now. That, uh, I didn't have as much time as I thought this morning. I did a full hour workout at our gym. I pushed myself really hard and then I realized I had like 30 minutes to get to a meeting. So dry shampoo and turn my hair back up. So since like I kind of fluctuate back and forth between like wearing more makeup and wearing less makeup, I'm just trying out some different stuff. So I kind of need something, I guess. I don't know. I just wanna try it. Also, I dropped my concealer the other day. My shape tape, which I really, really like, it completely like shattered. So that's not usable anymore. So I don't know if I'll be using this more as, I mean, it's probably a little too dark to use as a concealer. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. And then the last two things that I got from TJ Maxx, that's what it's called, are self tanners, so St. Gervais. This is the gradual tan tinted lotion. It smells pretty good. So I've used, I've only used one St. Gervais tanner before and it was like an oil that was supposed to provide like a lasting self tan but it did not do that for me like if i got my skin wet no matter how long i had waited it just completely came off so i don't know exactly what the deal was with that but it did give me instant color which was nice so once it's not absolutely fucking miserable outside all the time and I start wearing like t-shirts and skirts and shit. I might get some of that again because it's nice to just be able to quickly like rub that on and then you have color and you're not the palest. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on that. And then I also got their gradual tan classic everyday mousse. So I don't typically see mousse being like a gradual. So yeah, I might kind of switch back and forth between these two products. But yeah, I needed some self tanner and I saw these and I know people are usually pretty into the same type of products. So I figured I'd give them a try. Last two items and I have one more coming from them, but for some reason they ship separately. So I got a couple of serums from The Ordinary. These are both repurchases because I really, really like them and The Ordinary is like, just like stupid affordable. So if you're looking for something to try, you should definitely try their brand. And I have just like a, an everyday moisturizer kind of thing coming from them as well. But these are the Lactic Acid Serum, Serum, Cereal, Serum. Lactic Acid 10% plus HA. I don't know what HA is. Hyaluronic acid? Yes, with AHA and hyaluronic acid. My biggest skincare concern, it has a name. I can't remember the like scientific name, but people call it chicken skin, which is lovely and makes me feel very confident. But it's just like little, like, it's just texture, like little like pink um, texture. And I get it like on my arms, I get it on the bottoms of my cheeks. Um, those are like the primary spots that I get it. And lactic acid is like the only thing ever that helps with that. So I used to always use amlactin. It was a lotion, um, but I cannot find that anywhere. I mean, I'm sure if I looked on Amazon, I would find it, but like I've looked at like Target and the drugstore, like places where I usually used to be able to find it and I never see it anymore, but amlactin is amazing actually. Like I love it and I need to look for it again and get some more. But also this lactic acid serum, is great and I definitely notice a visible difference in my skin. So here's what that looks like. It's like very thin, watery. Anyway, this is great and I use it just about every night before I go to bed. And then I also got this hyaluronic acid because you can't have too much of that so i usually use this like in the mornings and at night it's a little bit thicker um yeah quite a bit actually Ooh, 
that was a little nasty. <laughs> but I use this under moisturizers and makeup usually. And I feel like I I feel like I noticed a difference from it. I have also tried the caffeine solution from The Ordinary and I really, really like that too. I just had plenty of that left so I didn't need to get any more of that right now. I did not use that today, which is why I have these. Bags so big that they ought to be chucked. I made that up a while ago. <laughs> I thought it was really good. <laughs> anyway, I like that. I also tried their retinol in squalane or whatever it is. Hated it. Hated it a lot. I think that I just don't like retinol and I will not be using the rest of that bottle and I will not be getting retinol again. I don't think it had anything to do with the brand per se, but I think I just don't like retinol. So. I actually was like using all of these products simultaneously, like every day. And I washed my face with kind of, it was like a Neutrogena bar of soap and I think it was just a little too drying. And after I washed my face, I was drying it with a towel and like, it, my skin just felt kind of like itchy, not like hurting, burning, but like just itchy. And I was like rubbing it with the towel and it just felt so, good like rubbing it with the towel but then when i took my hands away my skin was raw raw like i'm not kidding it looked absolutely terrible i had these like splotches all over my face like it took several days of just like completely drowning my face in neosporin and it ended up being fine and i even still tried to use the retinol after that i was just like spacing out the products and you know, not using them every day. And it says right on the bottle that like while your skin is getting acclimated to it, you can have a lot of dryness like around your mouth and around your eyes. But every single time I used it, my skin would just flake. And so that kind of just defeated the purpose of every time I used it, it makes me look uglier. So I stopped using that. And then I also tried the salicylic acid mask. And I'm not really super fond of that either. I don't really know why I got it. Salicylic acid is best for people who have acne prone skin, which I don't. So I'll probably just save that and use it if I do happen to have like a breakout or something pop up um, just to kind of try to nip that in the bug, 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 God, and get that out of there as quickly as I can. So that is everything I have for today and definitely expect more like fitness wellness diet i'm saying diet i don't mean like i mean just like food like healthy food content coming your way soon thanks for watching see you guys bye